Hello and welcome to another Svannet tutorial video. In this video we'll be showing you how to use the automatic reporting function, which is a function of the automatic monitoring services in Svannet. In order to be, to be able to access this, you need to have the Svannet premium functions to be able to access this project list right here and see your project. The project we're going to be using today is the SV307 Svannet demo, and this is an actual project with real station and with an early dust module. So let's go ahead and enter this project. In this project view, we can see the previously configured templates. Now, creating templates, creating project views have been covered in previous videos. So if that is new to you or confusing, please go ahead and try to locate those videos in our playlist. I can, you can see here that I have my live data, I have a, a noise chart, dust chart, etc. And this is a template I will want to use to configure a report. Now with the templates, I can create different type of templates for different type of recipients. So remember, if you are in a scenario where you have a noise monitoring in a residential area and you want a report to be sent to the council members to show a certain set of data and to the citizens, the inhabitants of that uh, residential area to have a different set of data, you can create this here. You create one template for a report for the council members and one template for the report for the citizens. So let's be quick and uh, go ahead and do that. So I'm going to start with the citizens one. So for the citizens, I don't want them to perhaps see the dust and Mateo data. Uh, I just want them to be able to see one thing and that's the LAQ level. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in here and, and start 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 editing. So I'm gonna go ahead and define here that I just want them to be able to see the LAQ. Apply that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go here. Oh, sorry, go here into the configure panel section. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the early data, the material data here as well, and that's all I'm gonna keep. Then I'm gonna go in and head in template here. I'm gonna save that as template for the citizens. And now I'm gonna go ahead and create a one for the council members, but I'll do that off screen so this video doesn't take forever. All right, so I'm done with my council template. Uh, is the one that is active right now. I've decided to add a couple of different panels here and have the dust data and material data from the early module. Uh, so we have two templates now, uh, one for the citizens and one for the council members. So we're now ready to define and create the report templates, the automatic report. So how do we do that? Well, we go here to the right hand menu and we'll go to reporting enter reporting page here and here we will be able to define two report types we're gonna have one for the council members and one for the citizens when you enter this page you'll see a button here saying configure automatic reports so obviously start by clicking this button as you see here it's all empty because we haven't defined anything so we're gonna go ahead and start by clicking add new here in the right top corner this is the interface for defining reports. Now, we'll start with the easy part, the title. We're gonna start with the citizens uh, report template. So let's go ahead and add an arbitrary name here, citizens report residence noise. Then we have to look at the period. And the period is very important because that it defines how often a report will be generated. We have the choice between day, week, month quarter or six months a year for the sake of this we're gonna add a day report right here we also have the ability to set a relative period what does that mean well if we define the period as day and just click save then we have made a choice that our report will be bound to the day period this means that it will be generated when the full day cycle is ended, which is going to happen at midnight. So if we define the period without setting the relative period, we just define period as day, month or week without relative period, we will receive a report every day at midnight. If we want to set a relative period, so a period that is not bound to when we created this template, we can click it here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the report template from yesterday, and I want that to happen at one o'clock. 
sharp. What does that mean? Now that means with this start time is that we're gonna have a report template sent to us with the data each day at 1 p.m., right? Then we have to choose the template. Now that is easy. We want to have the citizens, citizens template. And now we have to add all the citizens. So citizen one, and we have to have his email right here. And then we can add another contact, citizen two, citizen two at gmail.com. We mark this, make sure it's marked. Go ahead and click OK. We can see here the recipients, recipients are added. The format, we can choose between docs and PDF. Let's keep it at PDF, uh, uh, docs for now. And then we have a last choice to make here. Wait until period has complete data. What does that mean? Well, if we define now that we want to have a data uh, report where between at 1 p.m. each day, it means that at 1 p.m. each day, there will be an email with the report in it sent to these recipients. However, if at 1 p.m. the data that was gathered at 12.30 has not yet been transferred to this funded project, the station is still sending it, we can define a waiting period that allows that data to come in and then be sent. So if we set one day and that data comes in 30 minutes late, it will be sent 30 minutes later. But if that data doesn't come in for a whole 24 hours, it will be sent regardless if it's completed or not. So this defines if we're waiting for all the data or not, okay? We're gonna set it at the default one day. And we're gonna go ahead and save that. So we have now one automatic report configuration. We're gonna do the same now, but quick for the council members. So we're gonna go ahead and add new here, council, uh, let's and then council report period day. Oh, let's have that also as a relative period. So just so we have the same thing here, they're getting the same thing, but as you remember, a different template. So we choose the council template here. Let's add just random people here and keep the same settings here. All right, so we have now created two report configurations. And that's basically it. We're done here. We could go back and just enjoy that. So you see here a list of generated reports. These are empty because we have to wait a full 24 hours or till it's one day after 23rd. So that would be in 40 minutes from now. But perhaps you, as the person creating this, would like to see what these reports would look like. So you do have that uh, possibility. We go back to configure auto reports and we look here, citizens report. All right, I'd like to see how that will look. So I click here, generate now. You request uh, to generate the report based on automatic report configuration. Do you wish to go to report list? Yes. The report is generated. We're back in the list of generated reports. The report is here in doc format and you can see it right here. Beautiful, LAQ, that was the only thing we were supposed to see, the table and some text that we added, the map and whatever. Then we can go back. We now want to define one for the councils or check that one, wait for that to be generated. Done. Different, right? So we can put these side by side. You can now see the difference here. The council members have more data. The council members have the charge early data. We do not have that as citizens. Two different reports. If we now go back here, we'll see that two type of reports have been generated. You can always re-download them or delete them from your list or then generate the, the, those reports again to just to see how they turn out. So a quick summary here. In order to generate a report, you create a report template. You do that here in the view section by defining a report template that suits your need. You are free to choose whatever data, events, text, heat maps, tables. You are the lord of the templates. You do that here. 
by clicking uh, edit and you can then define everything from the content to the, geo the, the graphical representation of that. When you have done that, you go to the reporting page right here and you defined your own automatic report by going right into this right here. There are different types of intervals from one day to one year and you can define a relative period or a fixed period and these will always at that certain time be sent to you as an email. If you do have any questions about those things, about the reporting, you're very welcome to contact your closest distributor or here, us here at Svantec using the support at svantec.com.pl email or by clicking this question mark right here and filling out this form. All the other tutorials can be found under the tutorial section right here, including the one we're recording right now. Have a great day and thank you for your attention.